everybody this is Mara welcome to my channel thanks so much for tuning in so today we're gonna to be talking about things I wish I knew back in college and just giving you ladies some tips because honestly had I had the tips that I know now and just what to expect back in my college days things would have been much different so let's just get right into it so first things first ladies like I tell you right now the level of regret I feel and even my other friends feel <laughs> when we look back at our college years this is really bad <laughs> it's just really crappy because we went into college just focusing on one thing and one thing only which was get your degree and get out and unfortunately we weren't able to really take our full experience out of the whole like college thing and it really bothered us so first things first ladies i will tell you this is your time this is your pivotal time in life where you really need to be on your game like you need to be on your game and what i mean is like the visual effects like you need to not go to class in sweatpants and shorts and athletic stuff because you can do that at home at the gym like you don't do that in class or on campus like you're not going to get noticed that way you're not going to get noticed that way and unfortunately my mindset back then was when I saw the girl in high heels going to class I would think she's so thirsty like what is she doing is she going to the club like she's just doing the most and then obviously now with this whole like feminine journey and everything it's just I wish I can go back and just be like I wish I wore those heels to class because I tell you right now those girls really got lucky and on top of that we're getting dates like had it's so much easier I just really suggest that you get your outfit game together it's not a, a negotiable at this rate if you're trying to be serious slacking is not an option when you have so much to lose on this journey you have four years some five to make an impact this is where you can meet your husband this is where you can meet the great boyfriend this is where you can go on the best dates you can meet athletes you can do so many things travel so many things and if your looks are not up to par i'm telling you right now you will look back and regret your decisions <laughs> like me and my other friends because we didn't wear any makeup we didn't do our hair we didn't really care it was just show up to class get the degree and be done with it and unfortunately what people don't tell you is when you leave college it's really hard to make adult friends it's really hard to connect with other adults unless you're in a workspace but even in the workspace even in the workspace you can um you might find people that are like in their 40s 50s like really established already married it's a completely different stage of life so you really are not going to really have the chance to connect again with 20 something year olds like you will on a college campus so please keep that in mind ladies do not slack off do not have senioritis because senioritis is real and although I was a freshman, I still had senioritis. I really didn't care. And the only time I would try, like try to look good, would be if I'm going out for my birthday, if it was like maybe a special occasion. But I want you ladies to get out of this mentality of only dress up for a special occasion. You dress up to look nice because this is who you are. This is your presentation. It matters. If you don't look good, I tell you right now, you're not going to be taken seriously and you will not be respected. And that's just the cold hard truth and I'm telling you how it is because I care so um, outside of the looks I definitely would say get involved in clubs get involved in groups that your campus has that's Filipino club Vietnamese club deal with the foreign students I don't know find clubs that make sense to you to get out there to get really connected sometimes it's really easy to get in a funk and just have like one or two friends from your college class or something or from lecture but I highly suggest getting involved in clubs because I did it but then I didn't follow through and then you leave college and you don't have a lot of friends you just don't have a lot of friends that you would have hoped for or the connections that you would have hoped for so that's also my advice is to get different types of friends also 
diversify your group. I'm not just saying join Filipino club to join Filipino club. <laughs> join so that you can have a diverse group of friends. It's so important, ladies, because if, for example, let's say you're black like me and you only have black friends, like that's not gonna work. <laughs> it's not gonna work. You need to get some friends from different cultures. Like it's so ridiculous. I would go on college, like I would remember being on campus and only seeing like the black people sit here, the white people sit over here, the Asians, like it would be so segregated. It was the weirdest experience. I had literally the Persians sit over here. You'd have the um, Egyptians over here. You'd have, the, you'd, you'd have the Koreans, Vietnamese, and the Africans over here. It was just strange, just so strange. So getting involved in a club is really gonna help you break those barriers so that you're not gonna be limited to just, oh, well, I only have my friends from my clique, like don't do that because once again, you want to be out there, you want to date differently, you want to expand your options. Like being on campus is about expanding, not closing in, but expanding. That's my advice to you ladies on that. Like, please don't screw this up because I know I did. I joined, like I said, I joined these clubs for like the first two weeks, signed up for all of them, but never followed through because I just prioritized really unimportant things. And that really, I had to pay the price later because you leave college and you're like, wait a second. I only have like three good friends and that's a problem <laughs> like that's a problem and then you get salty when the friends that are the friends the acquaintances that you knew are married or engaged and you're like what how did this happen oh my god and it's because they were doing what you weren't doing and they were going to lecture looking hot they were um they they were going to the cafeteria looking good they were going out on the town with their friends they were getting involved they were dating they were doing things that made sense to do okay and also now this is particularly for black women if you don't have your hair game together I tell you right now it's so important don't listen to these natural hair Nazis because I'm telling you right now it's not worth it that impeded my whole college journey I tried to have like my big curly hair and it was so unmanageable and it just looked crazy and I didn't realize how crazy it looked <laughs> until I would see pictures, I would see videos, and I'm like, wow, like this is not, this is not it, this is not it. And then also, like if I can go back in time, I recommend ladies, if you wear glasses, cut it out. Get contacts, figure it out. It, it makes such a difference. I had such a strong attachment to my glasses. It was like a part of my face. <laughs> like I just, I love my glasses because it's my personality. You know, it makes you look really smart, <laughs> you know, and I just love my glasses. I've been wearing my glasses since I was eight. So I just kept my glasses on, but I realized unfortunately that this was a barrier. Like when you talk to people and you have your glasses on, it's literally a barrier. You, you know, you don't have the eye connection. You don't have those things. So I recommend getting contacts. Please, please, for my sake and for your sake, this is gonna help you get contacts. If you don't know how to dress, go on Pinterest. If you need to help on makeup, maybe go on YouTube. Like there's so many different options you can like do. There's just no excuse. If you're uncomfortable wearing high heels, now is the time to practice. If you're in high school and you're gonna get ready to go to college, practice, please, <laughs> practice. And if you don't feel comfortable, feel awkward, oh, I'm just too tall or I'm just this, I'm just that, you really have to get over it. Wearing heels elongates your legs and it makes your legs look really sexy because the muscles in your legs are showing, they're popping, okay? <laughs> they're looking really good, they're looking really sexy. So if you have your heels on, <laughs> jeans, do whatever. It could be a baby pump, like two inches. It could be, I wouldn't recommend wearing a five inch heel to class, that might be a little too much, but if you do something casual, a wedge, something reasonable, don't look like you're thirsty, look like you are just like business casual, not even business casual, like dressy casual. Okay, ladies, it's not hard, please listen to me. Just please, like I said, the amount of regret I have, it's just so boggling. I'd have my cousin say, no, Mara, like you're, you're gonna, you're gonna meet your man in college. You're gonna get that husband. You're gonna do this and do that. They had good advice, but they didn't tell me what it would take to get there. They just said, you're gonna get all this attention back in high school. Maybe you were, you know, in high school, I was very quiet. So I just minded my own business and it was just, that's what it was. So I was kind of hoping 
in college, miraculously these doors would open and that's not what it is. That's not what happens, unfortunately. You have to pave your own way. So if you don't pave your own way with your looks, with your hair, hair will make a difference, ladies. Do you ever feel like when you wear a really nice outfit but your hair isn't right, it just takes off the whole outfit? Your hair needs to really be on point, okay? Please figure it out. So for now, I'll just leave it there. Okay, ladies, please um, like, subscribe, and comment. I want to hear your experiences. If you're a high schooler, please let me know if you guys have any questions or anything, and I'll try to answer them below. And if you are already in college and this is impacting you in any which way, um, please comment. Or if you're even if you've had this experience and you're like me, please comment <laughs> and subscribe, okay? And I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.